I remember that as a child, if I spotted a cute puppy anywhere, I would stop whatever I was doing just to go play with it or pet it. Despite several of my pleas, my parents never got me a dog. So I grew up hanging out with my friends as golden retrievers, beagles, the fluffiest of labs and all of my neighborhood indies. But later on, I realized that most of these dogs are not native to India, which got me wondering where so many of them came from. And that's how I was exposed to the harsh reality of puppy mills. These mills are commercial establishment that breed puppies for sale in really inhuman environments. They focus solely on profits and producing as many puppies as possible with no regard to the dog's mental or physical health. The Animal Welfare Board of India estimated that India's annual pet trade turnover is almost worth 300 crores and most of it is through puppy mills. But before we continue, if you enjoy watching our content, don't forget to subscribe to Mashable India. So in these mills, the dogs are kept in extremely unhygienic, small, damp cages in which they barely fit. They're not cleaned or taken care of and they defecate and eat in the same place. They survive on contaminated water and stale food. The older, weaker dogs, which are of no use to the breeders, are thrown out onto the streets and the female dogs are forced bred with no recovery time between litters. They're injected with hormones that speed up their estrous cycles right from their first heat till the time that they've completely exhausted themselves and can't conceive anymore, which is when they're also discarded and abandoned. These litters are then inbred, which leads to a variety of genetic defects and birth disorders. Let me blow your mind real quick. This is what a Dutch Mastiff, also known as a pug, looked like before decades of irresponsible inbreeding. Having undergone a series of genetic mutations and misguided crossbreeding, the new generation of pugs are trapped with lifelong health ailments such as high blood pressure, heart problems, low oxygenation, overheating, dentition problems and skin fold dermatitis. You might wonder why you've never seen a puppy mill before. That's because these mills operate in places that are not accessible to pedestrians and you won't find them unless you specifically go looking for them. Like a couple of years ago, a team at Charlie's Animal Rescue Center found 13 odd breed dogs kept chained at an abandoned building in Bangalore. These mills sell their puppies to pet stores or stores buy the puppies in lots. Some pet stores just act as front offices for puppy mills. In fact, a lot of dogs are even purchased online. Those ads you see of people selling the cutest looking dogs, be very wary of them as chances are a backyard breeder is posting them. But worry not, there are responsible breeders too. Here are some ways you can understand if you're buying a dog from a mill or not. The biggest red flags are Puppy mill breeders never take you to their breeding facility. They don't allow you to meet the parent dogs. They will not welcome too many questions. And they'll negotiate and haggle over the price and sell puppies that are too young, as in less than six weeks old. The saddest part is that illegal breeding centers are the only ones that discard breed dogs. A lot of Indians are unable to take care of foreign breeds such as Huskies, St. Bernards, Boxers and Eagles which aren't acclimatized to a country's climate and acquire a bunch of really horrible diseases such as skin infections, mites, red mange, distemper and such which leads to the owners abandoning them. So one should be a lot more responsible and conduct a thorough research before getting a foreign breed because once left out onto the streets, these dogs become absolutely helpless. But while we're talking about this, there's over 3 million stray dogs roaming the streets of our country looking for love and a forever home. By choosing to adopt an Indy, you're not just helping that one dog, you're also encouraging your peers to do the same and helping stop the cruelty that goes down in these mass breeding facilities and otherwise.